Hey, it's Ashley Sonye and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the vlog of me losing my boyfriend to football. So Zoe is moving back into West Georgia tomorrow. So we're gonna go run a couple errands today of some things that he needs so that we can make sure we go drop him off and he's all good to move in tomorrow. Alrighty, so we made it to Walmart. Now we just dropped off his car so that it could get an oil change and stuff. And while we're doing that, we're gonna go shopping and get like curtains, shower stuff, Light. stuff for his bed. But yeah, so that's what we're getting right now. So we're gonna figure out everything he needs for this last semester of college. So I'm in Target right now and I'm gonna go ahead and get Azoya some things for camp because I'd like to surprise him and be cute and all that stuff, especially for his last time in college camp. So I'm just gonna get him some candy, some foods, some drinks, and just a little care package to put together for him for his last camp ever. He likes making PB and J, so I'm gonna get him some bread, grab some peanut butter. I don't think I need that much. And grab some good old grape jelly. He already is set to make Gatorade, but I'm gonna go ahead and get him too, just so I'll have that for whenever he wants. I'll also grab a body armor, because I know he loves this, so I'll get fruit punch. And this is the most important aisle, finding some gummy worms. Ooh, not bears. Gummy worms. Alrighty, in terms of presentation, his school is blue, so I'm gonna get this little bin, and I'll probably line it with some paper. Alrighty, mission accomplished, I finished. Hey you guys, so I actually wanted to create a little separate section to this video because the vlog wasn't long enough. I thought it'd be really interesting to ask you all on my Instagram to put some assumptions about student athletes slash football players. I'm going to ask Azoya, who you can see is right here, some of these assumptions and just get his reaction to them. And if your first assumption was that camp sucks and you never get to see your man, you'd be completely right. First assumption. Teachers pass them on tests and assignments so they can continue to bring home a win. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so you've never had that happen? No, I had to work for every single one of my grades. When, whenever folks think of stuff like that, it's, they're talking about like the 90s, back in the day. Mm -hmm. it's so, like there's so many rules now, you know what I'm saying, the answer that I've said that there's no way um, like it can pass. I mean, it, but there's more help. Yeah, like more um, study halls and stuff like that. And you have like personal, like people who only do academics for football and that sport. Uh, they are campus celebrities. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the school you you, you go to. If you're like Alabama, um, Georgia, Texas a and Georgia, because you are a celebrity. You know, that's a campus celebrity. You're a celebrity. People are paying a bunch of money to see you play. You got folks who who are wearing your jersey, you got, you got kids who are looking up to you, so you are a celebrity. Says, school is hard enough by itself, plus playing a sport is tough. Yeah, very hard. And of course, everyone's always saying, oh, I mean, it's your choice. Da -da -da. Yes, it's our choice, but it's still hard. You gotta wake up at 5.45 in the morning. You gotta wait. You got 8 a.m. right after that. You gotta rush home, take a shower, go, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff that we have to do. And, and I love doing it. 
it. I didn't even get to fully experience it, but I saw it was when I was the athletic trainer my freshman year of college. I had to like wake up and be at like office hours or like training in the mornings and then go to class and then practice and then all of that stuff and travel on the weekends and for me when I could have a couple of days off and stuff that was still a lot so I could only imagine like every single day is just go 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 like you never get to sit still and then you're still expected to like have all that time to do all that schoolwork and all that studying that people do regardless even if they're a normal student. Chica said don't really care about school. They just want to get into the league. Not anymore. Of course, I want to go to the NFL. Of course, like that's like that's a goal of mine. But I mean, like, hey, I'm in I'm in school for four years. I might as well get a degree off of it. Mm -hmm. so. Um, ooh, this is one of my favorite ones. That they should get paid. I, feel, I mean, I feel like they should get paid. You should get paid, and I'm like according to your level. Mm -hmm. Folks in like Johnny Manziel, um, Jalen Hurts, Jake Fromm, and like these guys are selling, are these, these guys are selling tickets day in and day out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, scholarship is scholarship is giving, but they're bringing a lot more money than that scholarship that they're getting. Yeah, you know, especially when your coach is making Nick Saban is getting paid what twelve mil, fifteen million a year. So, do you think that a uh, scholarship is enough compensation for playing football? Depends on what level you play at. If you're at a small school, yeah, scholarship is enough. But schools like, big schools like Alabama, players should get paid. Yeah. I always personally thought, because um, I, did, I did a project on this once, I always thought that okay, if players don't get like paid from the school, they should at least get paid from their likeness. You could go into the bookstore at UGA and buy a jersey that has Fromm's number on it. Or back when Todd Gurley was there, they had like girly girl shirts and all of that stuff and like he got none of that money but he was so good that they're making those kinds of things making those kinds of merchandise and selling them to other people but he gets none of that right yeah oh nothing so i always thought that should be it because even though like the jerseys have like just a number and not a name people are obviously buying right. that jersey because you that know, player has that number like you know exactly right. who it is you know so exactly and so i feel right. like they should get that money because people are going in to buy that because they're like, oh, I want the jersey of Fromm or I want the jersey of this person or Hertz or anyone like that. So I think that should at least be like something you should get paid off of. That's that's right. my personal opinion. I feel like whenever you think of a school and then you and the first thing you think of is football, like they should definitely be getting paid. Yeah. You know. That's fair. Yeah, okay. Well, I think that's all that I wanted to ask you. If you guys would like a part two on something like this, because I actually feel like this would be kind of interesting getting more into the life of a student athlete, please let me know. Leave comments down below of any assumptions that you have or any other kind of videos you'd like me to make surrounding Azoya and student athletes and things like that. But otherwise, if you like this video, please like. It really supports my channel. And please subscribe. And I'll talk to you later, lovelies. Bye. Do you want to wait for the bye part? Bye.